Military officials from Nigeria and the United Kingdom have promised to continue to build on existing synergy to improve its tactical operations. Officials of both countries have made the pledge at a meeting to mark the end of a week-long training on joint military planning in Abuja are optimistic that knowledge gathered will aid in sustaining peace. The challenges we face today threaten the corporate existence of our dear nation. Fighting these challenges is a collective effort and our success hinges on sound planning and synergy. It is premised on this that I'm particularly delighted that the course took place. I'm also happy to note that the objectives of the course, which among others included equipping the participants with the skills required for the integration of concepts in the planning stages of joint operations, were attained. It is not surprising to learn that the instructional periods provoked very fulfilling interactions among the participants on the best approaches to joint operational planning. We've already conducted a training course uh, at the back end of last year. Uh, we're, we're doing this one now and we're going to bring out a course uh, later on in the year. Uh, and hopefully um, later on in the year we'll be able to do some, some training with with some of the officers who are conducting the, the, the planning uh, in the field as it were. Uh, so I think that's the development and this is part of a, you know, an ongoing relationship that the UK has with Nigeria uh, in providing assistance across a whole range of activities from operational planning to, to tactical training. And it's a sad one where a mother of four has been electrocuted in Owashuku and Yocha North local government area of Delta State. Eyewitnesses say Mrs. Onyeka Anene lost her life after touching a gate which had absorbed unusually high voltage supplied by the Benin Electricity Distribution Company, BEDC. To think that electricity just got restored to the area after 10 years of blackout. The Anene family in the Ogwashuku area of Delta State are in mourning after a power surge killed Onyeka Anene, a mother of four. <laughs> According to eyewitnesses, frightening sparks and a high-tension cable led to a breach in the connection from the Benin Electricity Distribution Company feeder lines. The resulting fire destroyed properties. Mrs. Anene was electrocuted by her gate. What I saw here in the morning time when I came to supervise with them, I'm equally somewhere like a victim. My office is over there. You go there, half of the place was somewhere bought. So when the thing was on me, when I came here this morning, I was like, what people told me what happened, I was like, imagining the possibility. I was outside cleaning the car. All of a, all of a sudden, I heard a noise. Then I look at the you know, high tension there. It was a kind of sparking of light. It's not the first record of death from electrocution in Anyocha local government area. 21-year-old Peter Akabweze suffered the same fate in Ubuluku some months back. Electricity is a thing of joy. And when you bring it, what goes on? But in this time around, you are becoming scared. You are becoming scared because why? Last, the one that happened in our village, it took a soul, a boy that just secured admission. Confirming the incident, Corporate Affairs Officer of BEDC, Mrs. Esther Okolie, described it as most unfortunate. As I speak to you now, we're still uh, conducting our own independent investigation to be able to uh, unravel what actually happened. And that caused to mind the need for people to leave the right of way of our installation. Meanwhile, investigations have been launched to find out more about the cause. As a state, we will not be comfortable that such incident of uh, high voltage uh, claiming lives as a result uh, of the activities of BDEC. The incident is coming shortly after the community was reconnected to the national grid by the Benin Electricity Distribution Company, BEDC, after over 10 years of blackout. 
And Nigerians from all walks of life have continued to pay their last respects to the former governor of the defunct Midwestern region, late Brigadier General Samuel Ogwemudia, who passed away in Lagos on the 9th of March. Speaking at the interdenominational service held in his honor at the Samuel Gwemudia Stadium in Benin City, Edo State, South South Nigeria, former head of state Yakub Gowan and the governor of Edo State, Mr. Gowan Obasaki, described the late politician as a remarkable statesman whose legacy cannot be erased. Also present at the ceremony were the deputy governor of Delta State, as well as former governors of Edo and Delta State. Sam exhibited good leadership qualities. He did well in office and his legacies still speak well for him today in whatever area of life that he touched. Is it sport? Is it culture? Is it agriculture? transportation, industry, you just name it. The old Midwest and old Bendel State bore his imprint of service. Little wonder several major landmarks bear his name, including this stadium. We thank God Almighty for his life and that we have the privilege to celebrate someone who, in the words of Comrade Oshomole, my predecessor in office, has led a life of uncommon passion for service. A life that was utilized for service to God and to man. And that's news across Nigeria at this time. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker.